Want to make sure you never miss a Kindly Kian video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. Did not mean to do that. Oh, <gasps> Porygon! What? Hi there. Hi. Uh, Porygon, what are you doing here? Hello, everybody. I am Kindly Kian, and welcome back to Roblox. Today, we are back in our favorite Baldi's Basics RP. This is the 3D Morphs RP. This is the one by Textix. It's definitely, it's a special one. It's very special. Apparently, it has been updated. A lot of you guys were saying, I need to play this game again, because it's been a while since we played it. The update board just says minor changes, but those could be minor changes to changes that I didn't see before that were not so minor, and now my brain is melting. But regardless, I'm excited to be playing once again. Uh, we do have VIP, so we can check out these. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, you're... Okay, that's interesting. Anyways, uh, we have access to all of these guys, which um, I think that they all have the same audio cues as the, the standard one. Oh my gosh, he's so tall. He is enormous. It always creeps me out. The, the noises that this guy makes. Also, what is this guy doing to me? Uh, what is, What are you wearing? You're wearing baldy, dude. That is, wow, okay, interesting. Very interesting. I don't actually wanna be this guy though, but can I get on a scooter? <laughs> what? What is happening? I, why? Why is this a thing? <laughs> It's not very fast, is it? Pretty slow. This the scooter, I'm not impressed by this scooter. Oh, here we go. Here we go. What? What in the world? What the whole neighborhood has changed. Now I'm driving my scooter through the neighborhood. I I am very very confused right now. This is all different though. These trees weren't here before, were they? And then also like the school is huge. This doesn't look like an elementary school anymore. This is like a full on high school. Here school is now a high school. I don't know, I, maybe there's multiple levels. I don't know, I'm excited to go in. Let's take the scooter into the pool though, because that's what you do, right? Yep, oh, sure. That was actually amazing. I just jumped into a pool with a scooter, a motorized scooter, and then jumped off the slide on the other side of the pool. Whoa, playtime. Playtime? You look different. Oh my gosh. We need to try out playtime. No, I don't want to play right now. I want a scooter. I want to jump the- do What? What have I done? What have I done? Okay, okay. I need to be playtime. I want to check out this new playtime. This is super weird and awesome. And I'm excited to uh, see what other things we can discover. So, let's check out playtime. Because playtime looks different, right? I'm not just losing my mind. Yet yeah, that- that's different. You look different. Maybe I am losing my mind. I don't know. I don't remember playtime looking exactly like this in this role play. It's kind of weirding me out. Sad. Oh, she's so sad. Not sad. There you go. I like how neutral is her smiling. Shouldn't that be happy? Happy and sad. Not neutral. Playtime doesn't have neutral. She's one or the other. It's kind of difficult to be around her, actually. She's either incredibly friendly and nice and happy, or incredibly mean and sad. All right, let's go into the map. I guess this is Playtime's first day in high school. She doesn't look old enough to be in high school, but uh, maybe she skipped a few grades. She's a very smart, smart girl. See, she can count to five, sometimes even 10. That's high school level math, maybe. It's not, it's not. But anyways, let's go into the school, see if anything's changed in here because it looks right. a lot different from the outside. I just wonder if it's any different on the inside. We're just gonna explore. Okay, we got, we got some WD no squee. This is great. Actually, we can just scooter everywhere. Oh, we're totally gonna scooter everywhere. We're just gonna scooter through the hallways. This is fantastic. Although, the turning radius on this thing, not so good. It's not great. Okay, let's go to the library. Let's see if the library is any different. You're gonna crash playtime! Oh my gosh. Incredible skills. Absolutely incredible. Please get me off the scooter. This computer is actually on. Windows 95. What? Bring me back to the days. 
The days of having to launch games from a DOS prompt? Oh, beautiful times. Hey, your leg's in the way. I'm gonna check my briefcase. What even is that? I don't think I ever used that. In Windows 95, I just wanted Solitaire. Give me Solitaire and Minesweeper. I'm good, I'm good. I'm set for the day. Enough library time. Is anything different here? I don't know if that computer was ever on. Oh, here we go, we get to play Baldi's Basics. <laughs> they got Baldi's Basics in the, in the library. This is awesome. Excuse me, I'm playing, I'm playing Baldi's Basics. Your, your candy bar eating is very distracting. I need, now you're eating cheeseburgers? Now you're eating quarters? That's not healthy. You should not be eating quarters. No wonder Playtime's such a weirdo. Eating quarters. Is there anything on, going on in here? Is there anything hidden? I like the idea of hidden passages in libraries, you know? You you pull the right book and a bookshelf opens up and then suddenly you're in a deep, dark, scary dungeon. Probably not gonna happen here though. I don't think that's gonna happen. Hello. Yum, cheeseburger. Okay, let's leave the library. I don't think there's anything new here. Wait. <gasps> Shh. People are reading. That's right. Good to know. This is a no noise zone. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if you'll actually get in trouble if you make noise in there. I mean, we were kind of making noise. We didn't get in trouble, so maybe not. Oh, hey, Baldy. Hey, pal. It's good to see you again. Uh, let's go out into the outside courtyard cafeteria area. It looks like the uh, there used to be a camping Baldy out here, and you'd like bring him logs or something, something or other. He's not here anymore. Which is good, because now, like, I think that he was put here before the camping update actually came out for Baldi's Basics. So, now that the camping update is here, and we know what it is, and it's actually in this game as well, there's really no reason for that guy to be hanging out over there. Can we put a quarter in here? Can I, can I drop a quarter in here? No? Can't drop a quarter in here? Okay, that's fine. This high school sure looks a lot like my elementary school. <laughs> Wait a second, have these always been here? Have the jumping notebooks always been jumping on the desks? You guys tell me, because I don't remember. I honestly don't remember. But it's cool that they're there, even if they're not new. Hey, Baldi, I'm I'm on your team. You're not supposed to be attacking me. <gasps> oh, the Porygon thing. Is that still here? Do you think? Do you think it's still here? <gasps> it doesn't have the sign that tells you that it's not here anymore. Am I dead? I'm dead. <laughs> well, uh, that didn't work out very well. Should we be someone else? Who else can we be? Is Baldi any different than he used to be? I don't know if he is. Did he have the uh, camp outfit before? I think he did. I'm pretty sure that he's had the camp outfit in this role play in the past. All right, let's head back to high school. See what's going on. We're gonna go camping. Oh, you know what? I got distracted by the whole Porygon thing. I don't know if it's in the game again. I remember he took it out because something wasn't working right, but I wanted to see if uh, Banana Land is still here. Banana! Banana. Yes! Upside down Banana World. It's here. It's the same as it's always been, and I can sit in chairs upside down. Please, please. Come on. Come on, Camp and Baldi. Work with me here. You, you know you want to sit in that chair upside down. He had it for a second. <gasps> ah, I had it. Come on. Do it. Yes! We've done it. We've saved the world. This is going to change human history forever. Sitting in chairs upside down. In an upside down banana world. That's the kind of change that I'm bringing to this world. Now the question is, can you eat at the table upside down? Can you eat upside down food? Of course you can. You can eat upside down candy bars. You can eat upside down Yum. cheeseburgers. Yum. 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 Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. What was that one? It was like cheeseburger. Must be a meme or something that I am unfamiliar with because I'm old and lame. This is fun. Yum. This is good. Yum. Eating cheeseburgers Yum. upside down. Yum. It's all the rage. Meme this. All right, let's get out of here. Oh gosh, good dismount, clean. I give him 10 stars. All right, let's get out of here. I guess we gotta kill ourselves, don't we? Yeah, we do. Should we be a VIP character? I guess we can be, we can be playtime. I, I love how the playtime thing is animated. It's so cool. Yeah, sure. Let's be animated playtime. Oh, and we have access to numbers. One. But do we have access to numbers Nine. when we're just normal playtime? I don't think we do. I'm gonna reset my character and just change to normal playtime just to uh, compare. Where are you? There you are, normal playtime. Although you're not entirely normal. I've, I'm looking at you, you you're not normal. 
Uh, she just counts. One, she just counts two, in sequence. So you can't, three, like, individually pick four. the number that you want to say. And she only counts to four. Oop. You messed you up. Messed up. Yeah. Let's okay. Try Let's try again. Okay. All right. Let's... Okay. Stop. Stop. We're going to reset our character. We're going to go back to animated playtime. The original. The OG. Living that playtime life. There you go. All right. It's, excuse me, please. Let me through. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to high school. So, so far, it seems like the school is pretty much the same as it's always been, except for the outside is enormous. But now that I think about it, wasn't this always a high school? Because let's be real. Let's be real. Elementary schools typically do not have lockers in them because you don't have to change classes. You don't have to store your stuff and move around. Also, the playground looks a little bit different, doesn't it? I think, oh, because they put sand or wood chips or something in the playground, which honestly, like, I think I would rather have sand than wood chips. Seems like splinters would be a real issue if you were playing on a playground with lots of wood chips. I like those ones that have like, it's like weird, like rubber material. You know what I'm talking about? It's not sand. It's not wood chips. It's, it's not grass. It's like rubber and it's so squishy and soft. And if you fall on it, it does not hurt. So do you think Porygon is still somewhere in this world? That'd be cool if he was, cause I would like to go find him. You think there's like something hiding somewhere? Oh, you know what? Actually, we didn't go into Baldi's uh, office. There is that secret area in Baldi's office. Maybe there's a Porygon hanging out in the secret area of Baldi's office. Oh, we also didn't go camping either. We should go camping, see if anything's going on over there. But okay, yeah, this is still here and you are still here and you teleport me back to the beginning. Okay, that is super weird. Let's go camping. I, I mean, let's go camping. If I'm gonna say let's go camping, I, I have to say it like that. I just can't help myself. There's our bus. No Porygon. I do see that there's like this whole thing over here. I wonder what's going on over there. Oh wait, is that banana land? That's banana land. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Oh, <gasps> Porygon! What, hi there, hi. Uh, Porygon, what are you doing here? Sitting here until the developer stops being lazy and re-adds me to the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah you are. Is that it? Is that all you, you do? I'm just gonna say see ya. Is that all? Yeah, that's all he says. Okay, so uh, so clearly Porygon's just hanging out in, pr in front of the campfire until uh, developer stops being lazy and adds him back to the game. So hey, listen, if you're watching this, stop being lazy. Add Porygon back to the game because he's tired of roasting marshmallows. He's burnt many, many marshmallows and he's gained tons of weight from all those s'mores. Poor guy, it's all he's eating. No protein. I'm pretty sure there's no protein in s'mores. You got graham cracker, you got chocolate, and you got marshmallows. It's just sugar. It's just all sugar. Maybe a little bit of fiber. It's not good for Porygon. His diet is all out of whack. You need to get him back into the game, and you need to give this boy like a slab of meat. Give him some protein. Is there anything else in the forest? It doesn't look like it. Actually, I'm very lost and scared and lonely, and it's dark, and I don't like it. And there's a weird playtime behind me. <gasps> get away from me. Stop chasing me. Stop it. Stop it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm the only real playtime. Stop. Why is this playtime chasing me? No. Get away. It's so creepy. Why is playtime so creepy? She's so like adorable and, and innocent, but she's scary. I don't like it. You scare me, playtime. Yes. Yeah. That face right there. It's scary. All right. Let's go back to the school, I guess. And uh, I, I think that we pretty much found everything. As far as I know, I didn't go into every single room. I guess we could do that. We can just investigate each of these rooms, see if anything is dramatically different. But so far, it looks like everything is pretty much the same. And honestly, the inside of the school has pretty much always been the same. Also, I think the sun just rose. You see that? See how bright it is behind me suddenly? The sun was saying hello. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, the inside of the school hasn't really changed because honestly, I think that that's intentional. The developer wants the inside of the school to say as loyal to the actual Baldi game, which makes sense. It's a role play. You want to 
play in the world of Baldi's Basics. But what I appreciate is that outside of the world of Baldi's Basics, namely the school, there is some like creative liberties. So like there's a playground, for instance. Also, I ran. I should not have run. You don't run when you're playing as the special characters because it takes your infinite run away. Very dumb. And this, I guess, just leads to sadness. Yeah, it's, <laughs> you just die. So is there anything else that we wanna look at while we're here? I don't know. I don't think any of the NPCs have changed. I, I do appreciate the fact that uh, one of First Prize's right, eyes is glowing. Oh no, they're both glowing. I thought only one was glowing. He's got such brilliant, brilliant eyes that poke out of his face. The VIP morphs are pretty much all in order, and I don't think any of them are new, as far as we know. I guess the scooter and the spring? The spring is probably new, and it makes you jump real high, which is kind of silly. The scooter's cool. I like the scooter. I like being able to scoot around. It doesn't have great turning radius, so when you're in the hallways, it's kind of dangerous. Watch it, people. Principal on a scooter. Look at this. No hands. No hands. No problem. Who needs them? Look at that. Driving on the ceiling. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I'm the principal of this school. I can drive on the ceiling if I want to. How did I do that? How in the world did I do that? Excuse me. Excuse me. No scootering in the hallways. Only the principal is allowed to scooter in the hallways, all right? This is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm stuck in the corner. How did I get on the ceiling? You saw it. You guys saw it just as much as I did. I was on the ceiling for a second there. Oh my. Okay. I'm doing some sick moves. X Games 2020. Here I come. Principal X Games. Let's go camping. Oh, that's what you do. You should take the scooter camping. Who doesn't want to take a motorized scooter camping? That would be awesome. Problem is, is I can't turn around and now my face is halfway in the, in the wall. This is not good. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Here we go. You gotta slow down, Principal. All right, let's just back it up. I didn't want to take my foot off the gas. I just wanted to go, but I had to. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. The freedom, feeling the, the fresh camping breeze in my face as I scoot through the forest. What, I just got a badge. 99 award? Why? What did I do? Finally, freedom. I've escaped that terrible school and now I can live my dream as the scooter champion of the world. That's right, principal, world's number one scooter. Crashed right into a wall. Let's just ignore that for now. Beep, beep, beep. But guys, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. We finally checked out this roleplay once again, got to see some of the cool updates that have been added. Not a ton, there's not a ton of changes, but certainly, some cool ones. But guys, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo in it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by click clicking on those two little squares on the side of the screen. Kinda messed that one up. But otherwise, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.